you're on the Salem football team and you want to know if drinking water or drinking Gatorade during a game is more hydrating and will result in less muscle cramps. And the team has agreed to help you test your hypothesis during the next six games. We got Coach Mitchell down here. We're going to give him some Gatorade. Um, in this case, you create your hypothesis. If I drink Gatorade, then I will have less muscle cramps. So the independent variable is the if part. They both start with the letter I. It's what I do. I'm drinking Gatorade. So the independent, or sometimes they call it the manipulated variable, what I do, is how much Gatorade do you drink? The then part, then we'll get less muscle cramps. The then is the dependent variable. It's the end result that you get. Uh, how, the responding variable, they call it. And so that would be the dependent or responding variable, be how, how much muscle cramps do you get? Um, the control group you'd want to set aside would be uh, those, again, under normal conditions or if you remove the independent variable altogether. So normally we drink water on the sidelines. Uh, we don't give them Gatorade. And that would be our normal conditions. So that'd be our control group. We're going to compare to see, hey, drinking water, we'll count up, see how many muscle cramps we get, and then we'll, we'll give them some Gatorade and see if it works any better. Uh, the constants that you'd want to have, you want to have um, everything else be the same because the only thing that we want to matter is whether they get Gatorade or water and how much their muscle cramps are. So uh, we want to, you know, if we're giving it to, you know, wide receivers and linemen, we want it to just have one group or the other. Uh, we, it wouldn't be a fair comparison because linemen are typically heavier and uh, they sweat a little bit more perhaps. And so that wouldn't be a fair comparison. So if you're going to do linemen, do all linemen. If you're going to do wide receivers, do all wide receivers, but don't mix and match them. Um, the amount of playing time would be a constant. Make sure, you know, it would be a fair comparison to have someone sitting on the sideline who doesn't get much playing time uh, and compare them to someone who plays the entire game. So that should be a constant. How much playing time? Uh, the player's age. Well, we're at Salem Middle, so they're all about the same age. So uh, those should all be constants because we want to isolate that one thing that matters, and that's whether they get Gatorade or not.